have a battery attached to it, please note that this comes without the battery. So you're, you're buying just the actual vacuum itself. So we're going to go over some of the features and see if this is the right cordless uh, setup for you. Okay, so this is a cordless cleaner or cordless vacuum. So I guess the most important thing, at least it is to me, is what kind of suction does it have. So we're going to kind of get in right here and... I'm sure it's hard to see on, on the video, but it does do a really good job. Now, is this as powerful as a gigantic shop vac? No, not even close. However, um, in terms of getting into your vehicle into your, in, and cleaning or um, just general cleanup, it does a good job. I mean, it, it's, it's um, very light. Um, um, it, it has uh, different attachments to it, which, which we'll go into, and it has pretty good suction power. So um, from that standpoint, it does a good job. Okay, I mentioned the attachments. This is more of the uh, the floor attachment for it, I guess. Uh, you, so you've got an extension, which allows me to stand up. I'm about six feet tall, so I actually have to bend down just a little bit for this to work. And, and there you have it. So you have the small attachment here, and then you've got the longer attachment with kind of the uh, the carpet um, or or wood floor um, cleaner. So. Uh, uh, these are attachments that will probably only fit on this cordless vac, so you do lose a little bit of flexibility there, but I don't know how many more attachments you would really need. Okay, next up is how do you clean it? So um, you twist right where it says Makita here, and that will expose the filter. And then, so I'm going to show you that, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the actual filter looks like. So um, twist, I can't twist and, uh, and film this at the same time, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Okay, now here we have the exposed filter. Um, a couple things here. One is you got a guard on the front, and so you have like a little a mesh, and then inside of that is your paper. So you clean that off, and then you just stick it right back on. Um, some people have worried about the durability of the filter. Um, you could probably count me in on that list too. Uh, and once it does clog up, it, it does lose some suction power. Um, you can remove the cloth filter on the inside, and at that point, I think you could probably cut something else out or, or stitch something together if for some reason you had to change the filter itself. So again, you've got the protective sheath. Then yeah, on the inside, you actually have the cloth filter. So um, that's how it is it, set up. Okay, so here's the unit itself. Now, I bought this as just the tool, meaning I did not buy the charger and the battery with it. Um, and why is that important? Because if you do that, you'll need batteries and a charger. So here's the charger itself, which does a great job. Uh, again, it does not come with the unit. And then you have two choices of batteries, a three ampere hours and a one and a half ampere hours. Now I have both because I got the one and a halves as part of a package. The primary difference, some of the different Makita tools will only take the three ampere hours and it lasts roughly about twice as long for everything, and it takes twice as long to charge. So this battery actually takes about a half hour to charge. It'll run the um, um, the cordless uh, vacuum for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. This one will take 15 minutes to charge, and it will run the cordless vacuum for roughly half the time. So those are the, app, uh, the battery options. Um, the batteries are not cheap, so keep that in mind. Um, if you're looking at this as just a cordless vacuum, this will be... A very cordless vac, expensive cordless vacuum. But if you want to use it with in conjunction with, you know, the Makita lights, um, the blower that I have here, which is actually an excellent tool, or the cordless drills uh, and, and 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 screw dri uh, drivers, it's actually a pretty good value. So again, probably don't want to just buy the cordless vacuum on its own. You want it to be big, part of a bigger package. Okay, so final verdict. I'm gonna give it four and a half stars. Uh, I wish it had just a little bit more suction power. It does well, but it would be nice if it was a little bit more. Um, it, it's a very light um, unit, so you know it, it, it's, it's probably two or three pounds total with the battery. So it's really easy to use. It's easy on your back. Um, 